Join me today as we watch the acrylic paint flow across our board. Today I am using a 9x12 lap board, but shower board works as well, or any slick surface for this. Slick is better. I'm going to spray my board liberally with water because water is what's going to make my paint move today. Now I am going to be using some pearl paints from Amsterdam today, and I'm just going to layer a little bit of the pearl blue onto my board, and that's just going to make sure that my board doesn't shine through as white. It's just going to give that little bit of iridescent shine when it dries, even though you cannot see it right now it does have an iridescent glow to it so I'm just brushing some of that over my board right now with my soft bristle brush I'm not going to be using a brush today I'm going to let the water and the paint move on my board for an abstract piece now this does not require a lot of paint and you can use your existing pour paints this is actually my acrylic paints these are Prussian blue and phthalo Prussian blue and also rich iridescent gold from Pabio now I also have a little bit of my 14 karat gold over to the side and I have some titanium white but the ones in the bottle are mixed with Floetrol the ones in the cup and very little paint and also my pearl paint here which are mixed with Liquitex pouring medium so we may have a little bit of a uh, interaction between the two because sometimes Floetrol which isn't what is in my little containers over on the side uh, my little pour containers with the uh, caps on them and the ones in the cups sometimes they don't interact so well so we're gonna see I'm gonna put a little extra water down on my pearl white here I'm just putting some pearl white down and then I'm going to add my phthalo Prussian blue which is a greener blue and you can see how the paint starts dispersing in the water and it starts moving you already have fluid paint, but now you have even more fluidity by putting the water down on the surface that you're painting on. It's just a different way to use your pour paints. It's a different way to do fluid art. It's almost like using acrylic inks in a lot of ways, but you don't really have that thick paint substrate that's down on your painting surface here. If you don't like to use a lot of paint, this is a great frugal way to pour paint. And you see right here, I am using my silicone brush, and I'm just going to move my paint with my silicone brush. These are silicone makeup brushes. You may have seen me use them before. I'll put a link below if you'd like to have some silicone brushes. I'm just going to move my paint just a little bit around, just kind of playing with my paint. That's the fun part, playing with your paint. You don't have to. You can spray this with more water, which is going to cause the paint to dilute and to spread. So I'm going to spray a little bit of water so you can see what I'm talking about. It looks like an ink blot right now, but we're going to keep on going and add more paint. Now I'm going to speed this up so you can really watch it move. Because the paint flows so much, it often takes over the negative space. So I'm going to be adding in some of my pearl blue. Now, while this is pearl, it's it's going to be kind of a very light, very iridescent blue. And I'm just going to add some of that space back in so that my darker blue does not quite overtake the picture so much. And it also will give a beautiful sheen to the end product.
Sometimes you just have to know when to stop. But I really wanted some more layers of white here and a little more negative space. So I used my titanium white that I've kept out to the side. The only problem is, is this is not mixed with Liquitex pouring medium. This one is Floetrol. And while you can use Floetrol for this, um, it's probably not going to mix very well. And you'll see what I mean in the end. Um, you're seeing here a lot of the bleeding here in the white. And you'll see what happens when I use this particular titanium white. Now, that being said, the paint, the type of paint, this was not Amsterdam. This was another paint that I often use. And uh, it didn't play very nice. So you'll have to see how that comes out. I think I'm going to stop here and this is what I end up with. Do you see a beautiful wash of color? I used very little paint, but you get something that is very much watercolor feel to it. And I will show you what it looks like when it dries. My paint is continuing to move. The white has almost a cloudy feel to it and it keeps on spreading. But here it is. And you can see what happened with the white because this was a flow trawl. Uh, a paint mixed with Floetrol versus the Liquitex. While the texture is very smooth and I have so much movement, you're getting a little bit of breakdown in the paint with the Floetrol paint. So something to be aware of. The Liquitex uh, pouring medium works a little bit better, actually a lot better, for doing this particular application. But look at the golds. Look at the movement. There's so much movement in the paint. What a wonderful way to express yourself through fluid art. There's so much intent to this versus regular pour painting and you use so little paint on the whiteboard with the water base. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here is the final product. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. And until next time, bye now.